you wear traditional African clothing to your game sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah. um, two questions, a couple questions I have. Yeah. First of all, why do you do this? And what has been the response from your peers and the press? So the first <laughs> reason is because you, you really stand out like a sore thumb. You're in, a, you're in the NFL, yeah. you're in a professional league. Usually when people go there, they're dressed in European garments. Where did you get the courage? That's the question. I have. Where's the courage coming from? Why do you do this? I think it stems from uh, the power to define, first and foremost. Um, we have to define what an African garment is um, because, a, as you can see, a lot of the quote unquote uh, European garments have a lot of similarities with, you know, African garments um, in the sense of whether it's colonization, whether it's um, appropriation, whatever it is. Um, but for me, I think it started with the power to define my. Um, what I wanted to be perceived as. Um, I was you know, just chatting with a brother earlier uh, today and we were talking about social media and he was saying, man, social media bad, man. And I said, well, social media is not necessarily bad um, if you understand its use. If you understand that um, it is how people want to be perceived. Um, and, and that is an accurate judgment because they're the ones that's in control of how they're being perceived, at least from their perspective. Um, so in that very sense, I want to be able to control how people perceive me, right? from my lens. Of course, you can't fully you know, understand the minds of people, and that's what art is, right? But at the end of the day, I wanted to, people to see that I wasn't um, just a brother from Newport News, Bad News, Virginia, Hampton, um, that, you know, wearing you know, the, the baggy, and I got the baggy swag too now, but also I wanted them to understand that um, you know, I am an African-centered brother. I am um, a brother who does honor the traditions of my fathers, my forefathers. Um, and that uh, is very important to me. You're going to see a lot of, I got a brand coming out. It's going to be a coming soon, um, but all African garms. You'll see me rocking a lot this year. A lot of suit game, but a little African taste to it. Uh, but you'll see a lot of that this year, you know, crowns and all of that. Uh, so definitely tap in with me. Um, but yeah, it's going to be big. I think um, the more people, and it's becoming a trend actually, you know, the more people are seeing uh, representatives of the, the African diaspora, uh, wear these garments and, you know, wear, you know speak these languages and, and study these books and, and, and are shouting this uh, kind of, um, you know, African for, you know, it's shouting this, this very prideful sense of um, Africa. And as you can see, everybody is doing it. I mean, even uh, people who aren't necessarily from Africa, they're in Africa trying to get that resources, you know, they, they're trying to, you know, figure out the culture. You know, that's where anthropology started, you know what I mean? To, to, to truly understand the African mind, to truly understand the, the Afro-Asiatic mind as well, to go into those cultures that I'm not necessarily familiar with, to learn it, and then to figure out how I can use uh, those human resources and those natural resources for my benefit. Uh, so that's the same thing when we talk about, um, you know, my platform in the NFL. Um, and actually, you know, our coaches are pretty, pretty, you know, open to it too, man. I, I done had Coach Stefanski, you know, um, a lot of people, man, let me get one of them dashikis, you know, shout out to Coach, man, but, <laughs> you know, let me get one of them, you know, them suits or whatever. So, um, you know, everybody's really open to seeing that. It's not a, a really a peer pressure or anything. Uh, you know, they say once, and, you know, one, once or twice a little jokes, uh, oh, what it like coming to America, you know, you know, but, you know, it's, um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? That you, you kind of used to it and you kind of invite that because, you know, um, I heard, you know, wise men once tell me if, if somebody jokes on you, you know, that, that's showing you that they acknowledge you. Um, so with that very sense, you can joke all you want. I know that you see me. Um, I know that you, you, you see something there that you may actually like, um, but you may not necessarily be brave enough to do. Uh, so therefore you express your love um, in this kind of heightened, uh, you know, emotional hate. And, you know, hey, you look like you but you really mess with that. You really want to do that. You really wish you was in my position. Um, not taking it from that lens, but if you can understand what I'm saying, uh, a lot of people do express um, their love in different ways. And one of those ways is uh, to joke and to, to hate and to um, you know, express themselves in ways that they might not fully understand. So, Has anyone from the press ever commented on it? Uh, I, I, not necessarily in, um, on the press. Uh, but they do express themselves like through DMs. I do get some some DMs from a lot of the press. Um, hey man, what you know? What what are you wearing next? Um, hey, where is that from? Is that from Mali? Is that from Senegal? You know what? You know, I get questions like that. A lot of um, African press as well. Um, you know, I've got a lot of kudos from uh, a 
a lot of the uh, TV Ghana uh, people from over there, you know, really saying, man, we appreciate you wearing uh, these garments and, and really, you know, uplifting the tradition. Mm -hmm.